Hi, my name is Usman, I'm the lead photographer at Sonder Creative, and today you might be wondering why the video quality looks a little iPhone-like, and that's because we are in fact shooting on an iPhone. The reason we're doing this is because I recently came to know of a website called Fat Llama. Now Fat Llama is a platform which allows you to rent stuff from other people. So it's completely peer-to-peer -peer based, it's kind of like Airbnb, so you haven't got companies involved, you haven't got deposits to pay, and the potential is much cheaper. Now, based on that, what we're going to do is we haven't brought any video equipment with us to film this. We're going to go down to London, we're going to rent a bunch of equipment, we're going to put together a bit of a shoot and then film it, and then I'm going to give you some of my thoughts about the platform. Now, this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. We're not even getting our travel costs covered, so I can give you my honest thoughts and opinions about this website. Anyway, we've got a train to catch, so I will see you guys in London. Okay, so we've just arrived into London. You can see King Cross Station behind us. Uh, we're gonna go now and collect the equipment that we're gonna use for this review. And then we're gonna meet up with one of our friends. A uh, friend is called Christine. She's gonna model for us. We'll probably go to like a park or something and we'll take some pictures. We'll use the cameras and stuff that we're gonna rent uh, for this video. I'll probably do like a light review of all the equipment as well, just to give you some of my thoughts. And then uh, we can discuss uh, what my thoughts are about the website. Christine, she's going to be modeling for us and uh, we're still shooting on the iPhone but we're going to change very quickly now because we have collected some of the equipment that we're using today. So first thing, we're using a beholder gimbal. I've never used, I'm dropping things, I've never used this one myself but I've used other gimbals before. Um, this could be interesting, this could make our videos well, quite a bit better. To be honest, I, I see this kind of thing first time in my life. And I can't imagine how it works, to be honest. Oh, it's, like, it's a gimbal, it's a gimbal. You put the camera on and then it stabilizes it so it doesn't shake. Yeah. That's the idea, but we might screw it up. So let's, let's find out what we do with that. Um, the camera that we're using today is, uh, let's see if, it, if I can get this out. We've got the Panasonic GH5, probably the best 4K video camera you can get. We're using the 15mm 15 15 f1.7. And then James is going to be filming on this. You can't see James right now because he's holding the camera. But James, I can assure you, he's waving. James, wave. <laughs> um, we're taking pictures of uh, Christine. And to do that, we're going to be using my favorite camera, the Canon 5 DSR. And we're using probably one of the best and sharpest 85mm lenses ever made, the Sigma Art 85. So we're now gonna switch over to the Panasonic GH5 and you're gonna see a change in the quality in three, two, one. And there we go. So now we're shooting on the Panasonic. We're now gonna put it on the stabilizer. I'm gonna take some pictures of Christine and uh, hopefully we get some good shots out of this. So the footage from the GH5 is some of the best that I've seen. It's sharp, it's detailed, the colors are good. I really, really like the footage coming from this camera. And when you couple it with a stabilizer like the Beholder, you get some incredible results. And I really enjoyed using this camera. The fact that you can shoot at 60 frames per second means that you can slow down your clips and get some really, really dramatic footage. The thing that really impressed me was the internal stabilization. This clip that you're watching was not shot with the beholder and no post stabilization has been done and it's still very good. The focusing system was okay. It wasn't great. It struggled in certain areas and uh, especially when you had bright light. So in this clip you can see that we've got the sun shining on James face and for some reason, it just struggled to focus and we weren't making any complex movements, but it just couldn't nail focus as quick.
In low light scenarios, the focusing system struggled even more. And this footage has not been slowed down, but you can see how long it takes. There were a few other things like the menus and a few quirks that I wasn't too keen on, but that could come down to the fact that I haven't used this camera before. Overall, I'd say this is still one of the best video cameras you can buy. I'm very pleased with the results and it's definitely one I'm considering for myself. Right, so back in the office now, and what are my thoughts when it comes to using this platform? Well, I have been using this website prior to doing this collaboration and prior to getting to know some of the staff at Fat Llama. And the one thing that really struck me was the customer service. The customer service is incredible. You can really tell that the staff members care and they're passionate about what they're doing and they want to help. And I really, really appreciate that. This was the first time that I was renting equipment from Fat Llama and I have to say the whole process was just so easy. It was so seamless for me to go from London to, sorry, from Leeds to London, rent some equipment out, do a shoot, return the equipment and come back. It was just so straightforward. The whole process was so easy and I love that. And the price, the price was definitely cheaper than renting from another rental company or so on. And also, the other advantage is because I was renting from people that actually own this equipment and use this equipment, they were able to give me a bit of an insight and just give me a bit of a heads up on a couple of things, tweak some of the settings, show me a couple of things that I could do. And that was so useful, especially when it comes to uh, time restraints and if you have a shoot that you don't, you don't want to be faffing around with things, you just want to get things done. So from a professional standpoint, in a professional context, I highly, highly recommend this website. I highly recommend it because you can get equipment that you don't necessarily need for every single shoot, but you just need it for one particular thing. And I think for creatives as a whole, this website is gonna be incredibly powerful. It is still in its early days. It's still, I'd say it's still in its infancy, but the potential is huge. And the early adopters are going to really, really benefit from the fact that they can get onto this website, they can rack up the reviews, build that network of people, even potentially have regular people coming to them. And this is one of the reasons why I highly recommend getting onto this website now. Also because you get loads of discounts and credits and so on as well. And I think eventually they'll probably phase that out, but right now it's available. The other thing is the sheer variety of the kind of things that you can rent from this platform. I mean, you can rent things like a pair of night trainers to a caravan to an Ari Alexa. That's right, you, you can rent an Ari Alexa from this website with a technician and the price is actually very reasonable. I know this feels like a little bit of a fluff piece, but I can assure you I'm being very genuine about my thoughts. I'm being completely honest. If I didn't like this website, I would tell you, but so far my experience has been really, really good. I really do recommend this platform and I can see the potential. Everything that you rent out or lend out is 100% insured. So it's fully insured and you've got that peace of mind, which makes this viable for professional use. This has changed my perspective in terms of how I'm going to be doing shoots in the future, because now I've got access to a lot of equipment that I didn't necessarily have in the past or maybe it was just a bit too expensive for it to be viable for whatever shoot that I'm doing. Now I can go to a location and I can rent out equipment. I can even rent out props like tables and chairs and things that I could use for a particular shoot and it just makes the potential so much more and it makes my job and my life and my work a lot easier and for that reason I'm really excited about what this website holds for the future, how it's going to progress and I can't wait to see how things develop. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you find this platform useful. I'll leave a link below with a code that you can use when you sign up and that will just give you an extra amount of credit. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Check out my Patreon page and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.